Today on Sketchy Questions, how to make 3D terrain from contour lines. And we will start out once again by importing an image file. Just browse to the proper JPEG and toss it in here. Now using the tape measure tool, we can properly scale the image. There we go. Uh, we'll zoom out again. Now what I want to do is these trace these contour lines that I can see right here. And it takes forever, so just get your freehand tool and start tracing. And do it for all the lines that you can see. And through the magic of Hollywood, we have the English version of that same JPEG and all of our contour lines are done and I used the weld plugin to make them all solid polylines and now I want to join them all together I need to uh, create faces between them all so I will just uh, work my way around sort of cleaning up the uh, lines making sure they're all coplanar and uh, forming the faces as I go around. And a little tip, if you're drawing a lot of lines like that and you run out of uh, screen room, just push shift and uh, push down on the scroll wheel on your mouse and that is the shortcut for panning and you can pan over and release that combination and you'll go right back to your line tool. So now that I've got all my faces, I need to push pull them all up uh, sort of one at a time. And I want to make sure they're all evenly uh, push pulled up. Each level is the same distance up. And in this case, it happens to be uh, 40 feet because I need it to be a thousand feet high and there are 25 steps I believe so with some more Hollywood magic we have got all of our push pulling done it looks a little something like that so that's pretty close to what we wanted but not quite uh, silky smooth enough so Let's add some more detail to it. Uh, what I'm going to do is use a plugin called Selector to select only the faces and delete them because I only need the line. That's a great plugin. Uh, just do a Google search to find it. So you see, I have a lot of extra lines left over from the uh, push pull process and I want to get rid of those so I'm going to sort of orbit around to a good view and doing a right to left select on just the bottom part I can uh, make sure I've only selected the lines I want and I can delete them so now all I have left over is the proper lines to form the contours So let's go ahead and do that. I will uh, select everything. And using the sandbox tool called Create Faces from Contours, there you have it. That is what I wanted. And the lines are separate and sort of left over, so I'm just going to hide those. And there you go. That is the terrain of the crazy cliff in Minas Tirith from the Lord of the Rings. And uh, if I turn uh, Hidden Geometry on, you can see this is definitely not a low poly object. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun uh, rendering later. So there you have it, my uh, preliminary terrain for the Minas Tirith project. As always, you can go to 
sketchyquestions.blogspot.com or you can email me at manofskill at gmail.com.